Hello everyone. So I wanted to show you some of the ones that I finished of the belly bands in side pockets. So this was a belly band that I made. I just added a little lace down the side. This is a belly band, but obviously I didn't make it a double belly band like I did the other one. This one I made into a double belly band like the other one. This one, I added a third pocket. So there's a pocket here, and a pocket here, and then the pocket here. And these are the ones that we did together. So, again, I just, I wanted to show you what I came up with. And them are going into my done box. Now I have a bunch of fabric scraps that have been just setting in a plastic bag. So I thought, let's just have a play with these. See what we can come up with with them. Because again, I, I really like them, but at the same time, I don't know. So this one, I really like the lace. I don't really care for the fabric itself, but I really like the lace, so. This would probably work better with a thing, but I don't have one directly on me, so. I'll probably finish the rest of this. Oh, it's coming right off. So this is how I get my lace, is from pieces like this. And then I have a bunch of lace that I can use in projects. So that's one of the ways I do it. And then what I do with my fabric is I cut off anything that could be seam binding-ish and everything and sometimes I use the pieces like this I'll use this to use around my journals it's like sari silk in my mind. That's honestly what I do. Now, not everybody does the same things, but again, this is how I come up with pieces for around my journals. Is by collecting this stuff. Yeah, that's just not coming off the way I want it to. Now, these ones, this type of fabric that's harder to cut and everything, I'll probably turn into circles. I'll cut them up into circles and use them that way. With my little circle template but I'll fold this up for right now. And again, the, this is my process with my scraps. Or I'll cut it up even more and use it again as sari silk. This one I actually, I'm probably more than likely to use it better if I do cut it up. So I'm actually gonna do that. I'm just gonna cut them like that and 
and I don't, again, I don't do this with every one. I just, if it only cuts a certain way, and then when I try to cut it off from the side, it doesn't work very well, this is what I do. So, again, you don't have to do it the same way I am. I'm just showing you one of the ways to use your fabric if you don't know what to do with them. And sometimes having them like this, too, I can make bows. So, you take two sides here. You do this, you figure out where you want your bow at, and then you tighten it. And you can adjust your bow and everything. And this works great for on top of covers. It's like a shabby bow. And again, the this is all I do to create my bow look here. So another bow. And this will be the last one. Again, it just creates a cute little bow in different sizes and shapes and very simple to do and creates bows for covers and all that jazz. Now I'm going to take these and start winding them because that's how I keep them together. I just wind it up. And again, this is different for every person how they use up. There are so many different things you can do with fabric. I just found this the best way for this situation. And brown is a very neutral color, so that makes it even better to use when it comes down to that. So, got myself a little thing there. And then this piece, which I'm just going to throw away. I don't like this. Again, it's just not my thing, so I'm just ripping it up, the pleats. Now this one I'll definitely use more as a thing. Well, I'll use for circles indefinitely. So I probably don't need to take this off, but I am. Um, and I really like the ripped look on pieces so I'm fine doing it this way if I can't rip the whole thing I will take my scissors and obviously cut 
off that piece that I don't really care for. And I apologize for my upstairs neighbors being loud. It's a part of having upstairs neighbors. So now I have this vintage type fabric that I could be using for multiple things. Again, this must have been one that I just cut up. And I have no idea why it was sitting in my scraps. But that happens. It happens all the time. Again, this time I'm trying to take off this lace. Sometimes it'll work with you well, sometimes it won't. Not a big deal. Now I'm going to roll it up. And again, I'm fine with it being whatever way it is. This lace will look beautiful on pieces, so that just goes into my lace thing and... Now I have this left. And again, this I'll probably fold up and stick in that one pile. It is very gorgeous. I like it, but again. So you can find stuff or beautiful pieces from very simple things. This is one of them things that you tie up. Use, I, again, I have no idea where I got this from. All that I know is I have this beautiful lace, yet again. not being used so this way this beautiful lace is being used now this is definitely going to end up being circles I might even coffee dye this before I even use it. So this is going to go into my coffee dye pile. Because that's exactly what I'm going to do. It's that light tinted stuff. Yeah. That's what I normally do to come up with that. And again, beautiful pieces of lace. Easy to use. Fun to use, honestly. But... Again, this is how I go about by when I find scrap from other people and stuff like that. How I go about trying to figure out what I'm going to do with them and everything. This is what I do. And because this one is identical to that other one, I'm going to coffee dye this before cutting it up. If I do decide to cut it up, I don't know. Again, that's this is my routine with my fabric scraps, how I go about taking care of them. It's figuring out what am I going to use this for. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to finish up with these off camera. Enjoy the rest of your day or night. Bye.